Have you ever tried spaghetti squash? An All Recipes member named James says, the flesh of spaghetti squash comes out in long strands, very much resembling the noodles for which it is named. In this recipe, the noodles are tossed with vegetables and feta cheese. Preparing spaghetti squash is surprisingly easy. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Then, lightly grease a baking sheet. Cut the spaghetti squash in half lengthwise. And use a spoon to remove the seeds. Place the spaghetti squash halves with the cut sides down on the baking sheet and bake them for 30 minutes. To check for doneness, insert a sharp knife blade into the squash. If it goes in easily, it's done. Remove the squash from the oven and set it aside to cool. While the squash is cooling, chop a medium onion and mince one clove of garlic. And then chop enough tomatoes to make one and a half cups. Heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil in a skillet over medium heat. And saute the onion until it's tender. Add the minced garlic and saute it for two to three minutes. Stir in the tomatoes and cook them until they're warmed through. Use a fork to scrape the strands of pulp from the squash. Add the squash to a medium bowl. Toss the squash with the tomato mixture. Then add three quarters of a cup of crumbled feta cheese and three tablespoons of sliced black olives and toss it. Just before serving, chop enough basil to make two tablespoons. And toss it with the squash. This spaghetti squash recipe is very versatile. You can try substituting different vegetables, but be sure to use ones that have contrasting colors for a gorgeous dish.